how are you doing? I'm Booger. Welcome aboard. Bonjour. I have uh, some wonton skins that uh, I was planning on making a wonton soup, but then I was like, it's too freaking hot for a soup. So I'm also going to have a taco salad with the wonton skins. I'm going to put some ramekins in there with little wonton skins and make a shell. And I don't know how it's going to go. First time trying it. So you guys want to do this? Let's go. Chin chin. All right, guys. I got a pound of ground turkey in there. I got the paddle in there because we want to stir it up and stuff. Um, we prefer ground turkey, and it's not as greasy as ground beef, so you might have to drain the grease out of there when you're done cooking it. So uh, before you put the seasoning stuff, I would anyways. All right, so I've got this. I'm ready. This is my little uh, motorboat thing from Pamper Chef, but you can get one of these at Walmart. It breaks down your ground beef and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to need it yet, so we'll see. Bottom burner, top burner. Oh, also, I'm going to put a little bit of oil. Only because ground turkey is a little dry. Not like ground beef or ground sausage. Whatever you like to use. And um, I'm not trying to fry it, so I just want it slowly cooking. I'm going to put it at a two. So we'll All right, guys. That was probably five, six minutes. As you can see, there's no grease, so we're good to go. All right, I have um, two third cup of water right here, and I make my own taco seasoning. I'll put the recipe to that in the description box. So I just keep it in here, and then it tells me to put three tablespoons of that with two third cups of water. So that's what I'm gonna do. It smells delicious. Hey, if you got the spices, do it yourself. You know what I mean? I mean, you can use that packet, but I prefer to use my own spices. All right, so here it is. Mix that up. And let's dump that in there. All right, so we're gonna cook this for another five. It's pretty close to being cooked at five, six minutes, but we're gonna put the sauce in there and let it all marry together. Would it be bad? All right, guys, that was probably not even four or five minutes. Let's shut everything off. I'm still not used to that. Okay, see, there you go. So I'm gonna put this in a bowl because I need to take that paddle out and I'll cook our little skins. And I can't take the paddle out like this. I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be too hot. So I gotta let it cool for about three or four minutes. Okay, so. Wait till that cools and then we'll get the rest right, of the stuff. I just ended up cleaning it. Alright. My little resin uh, cups, make sure they are oven proof and stuff like that before you put that in there. Okay, I'm gonna spray it with um, some olive oil. Like so. Set it down there. Actually, come on, wait. I'm gonna assemble this first. Let me bring you in for that. Where are you at? Okay, there you go. So I've got two wonton wrappers, wonton skins. So just try to get the bottom like so. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna spray that too. Jeez, this thing sprays like crazy. Don't you? All right, let me do the rest of these and then we'll show you the cooking process. All right, guys, I could probably put a six in there, but I'm just going to do five. It's just the husband and I. So let's start cooking it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, the bottom. Yeah, I'll turn the bottom one on. And we're going to leave that at a two. So if you have the echo fry, this is great. This will work great. But I'm going to tell you, it cooks a lot stronger on the left side of the machine. So watch that. You might have to rotate them. Guys, that was probably six minutes, maybe five, six minutes. Look at that. Whoa. Some of them curled in there. That's okay. Listen, we're going to put some of this meat back in here. And I've got an ice cream scoop, so I'm just going to get a scoop of that stuff. And just drop it in there. Like that. Just to reheat the meat, I'm going to put some cheese on there. I'm at a weird angle, and I'm talking weird, too. Yoik! Okay. That one's funky because it curled in. But the rest of them look good. 
You know, I could have put some more uh, wonton skins on there, but we're trying to do the low carb bullshit. Excuse me, pardon my French. And I did have some cheese, hang on. No, really. Low carb is, is okay. You just gotta, you know, get used to it. Right, Marnello? Okay. We got some shredded uh, cheddar cheese. Let's put that on there. My bottom burner is still on, you guys. And I'm still at number two. So, if you have to actify, you just go with the flow. <laughs> Sorry, Lyle. It is a great machine though, you guys. I had it for almost four years, so. It's just, this is a lot better. A lot more expensive too, just remember that. All right guys, I did that for about two minutes. That's enough to melt the cheese, you know. I'm gonna pull one of these out and assemble mine. Now, you can put your favorite toppings on there. I'm gonna show you what I like. I got some cherry tomatoes out of the garden. 500,000 of these. So that's the tomato du jour, okay? Um, of course I'm gonna put a little bit of lettuce on there. You know what? I wonder if I can pull these out. I didn't even think about that. Well, hell yeah, look at that. Comes right out. Do I want to? No, I'm gonna leave it in there. All right, lettuce. That's what I like. Husband um, can't do jalapenos, but I sure the hell can. And they're going in fresh jalapenos. Is that enough? <laughs> okay, I like um, sour cream. We'll put a little bit of sour cream on there. Okay. Can I top it off with some cilantro? Alright, I'm gonna let that cool and I'm gonna taste it. But they look good. This did it pretty good, you guys. Look at that. Pretty cool, eh? All right. Let's uh, let that cool, and then we'll taste it. All right. Let me adjust this. Okay. I made one just to show you his little milder side. So, because I like jalapenos. Jalapenos. You know, if I wanted to, I could pull these out real easy. See? But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's easier to eat it in here. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it in there, okay? So here it goes. If you can make your own taco seasoning, just do it. I'm telling you, it's good stuff. That's my bite, yes. Mmm. Is that? Crunchy, just like a tortilla. It's delicious. You know, if you don't want to do the big old taco salad bowl, it's a good alternative, you know? Make different little kinds, you know what I'm saying? Who wants the jalapeno? I do. Mmm. All right, guys, this is good. Thanks for shopping.